Good morning, happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. On Thanksgiving Day in 1964, our family came over from Cuba on the first Cuban boat lift and we landed in Key West. And ever since then, Thanksgiving has been a very special holiday for us. Every Thanksgiving, we have a big traditional meal. Um, in the beginning, it was mostly Cuban food, black beans, rice, uh, pork, but now it's gotten bigger and now we have everything from Turkey to Cuban food to some Italian food because we have Italian family members and of course our flan which was always a staple and still is. It's probably our favorite dessert at Thanksgiving and every holiday or event that we get together. So uh, today we'll show you how to make the flan. Yes, today we are going to uh, share this story with you and make this fun as part of the mission committee's effort to compile all of our family stories and recipes. And this one is ours. So you go ahead and start. Ruby. Ingredients. We're gonna do, you're gonna show them, Vega, the ingredients. So we have five eggs. And then we have a can of sweetened condensed milk. and a can of evaporated milk. So we just start putting the eggs in the blender, just cracking whole eggs into the blender one by one. And then we add our milks, the two milks, the sweetened condensed milk and the evaporated milk. Just throw them straight in there. So it's a misconception that flan is a difficult dessert to make. Yeah, yeah it's actually pretty easy, especially with the ingredients and whatnot. I think the important thing is the cooking process. That is a little bit more tricky, but you'll see how we do that today. So we blend all of this up, and while we're blending this up, you can start your sugar. Do you want to tell them about the sugar, the caramel base? Yes, let me show you our sugar. So we have in a pan a cup of sugar that our mom is going to melt in a minute and make some caramel. So we're going to go ahead and put that on the stove top and she'll get that started in a minute. What are you guys doing over there? We're going to blend everything up. She's just getting everything out of the pan. The last bit of a sweetened condensed milk. Because we can't waste anything. Any of it. It's so, that immigrant mentality. Here we go. <laughs> That's good. I should add that she puts a tiny bit of water in there, right? Did she put a tiny bit of water in that? She pan? put a little bit in the can of sweet condensed milk to scrape it out. To scrape it out. But that tiny little There's bit of water, like it's just no, a yeah. little yeah. bit of water like makes a, it yeah. extra tender. Telling me I need to blend it more. I think that's good. I don't know. Catalina, are we ready to put that flan in the uh, oven? No, now you have to make the sugar. Okay. So I will show you guys exactly what she's doing. I'm gonna move the camera over here. And here. So there's a cup of sugar. She takes about a cup of sugar, white granulated sugar, pours it into the pan, and on high, starts to stir. And this will eventually start to caramelize and burn. And this is the base that you put in the pan to make the sweet sugar that you do at the bottom of this pan. So now she's gonna caramelize the sugar. It might take a little bit. William, will you show us that pan please, which she's going to put the flan in? So this pan can go in the oven without any problem. It won't get burnt. Okay. 
And as you can see, she's just moving that sugar around and it'll take a little while before it's completely caramelized. So now right. this is the sugar, which is caramelizing. As you can see, it's turned brown and it's very, very hot. This step is really, really extremely dangerous because this could just burn your skin off. You don't want to get that on your skin. So she pours it into the pan and she lets that cool a little bit. And then she kind of coats the sides of the pan. So you need to make sure you kind of have like oven mitts or um, cloth. So she is spreading that caramelized sugar now on the bottom of that pan and the milk mixture will be poured in there. Again, this is very dangerous and should be done very carefully and there shouldn't be people around in the kitchen standing around because you want to make sure no one gets it's burnt. Right. All right. See, she's trying to get it up as high up on the edges as possible so that it's- Coating it yeah. so it cools See, now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what happens next, William? So now we let this cool. You have to let this cool. It's very, very hot. Again, let this cool. You can keep whirling it around if you want. It takes a little while to cool and then it's got to harden. It's got to harden. It's going to be like a hard candy crust. So it can care, you know, caramelize the actual flan once you bake it together. And yeah. all, all that juice comes out on it when you flip it over. So you kind of have to let it harden, cool off a bit. Right now we just have to wait for this to cool off and harden. Usually does it pretty quick. Again, you gotta be very careful because it's very hot and if you get it on your skin. So, um, then we just blend this up again, give it another whirl and pour it in there. Right now we're waiting for this to cool off and harden, so. Can you show us the what's in the pan again there? What it looks yeah, like? This is what it looks like now, but it's still kind of going around. I don't know if you could see it. Ooh. How long do you whirl it around for? Just, I don't know, like maybe 10 minutes until it kind of coats the sides. She just did a little bit and then she just lets it sit and cool. So you can just let it sit and cool. Okay, so now this is completely solid. As you can see, it doesn't fall out. Again, be very, very careful because even now, the pan is still a little hot on the sides and definitely on the bottom because it's all pooled on the bottom. But, so you have to be very careful so you don't burn yourself. But you can see it's completely solid. So now that it's solid, we're ready to pour our milk and eggs in here. She's gonna blend it again really quick. straight in. Now we cover it with a piece of aluminum foil. Make sure it's tight. We kind of 
bring up the paper on the edges, around the edges, because we're going to put it in a, what did you call that? A fan marie. Fan marie, where you fill up a big pan halfway up full of water, and then you place this inside of it, and it kind of steams it. So How far up will the water go? Will the water goes about halfway up. So let's go ahead and look at what you have in the oven and where we're gonna place this one. Yes. Ready? So we're gonna open the oven. Open the oven, come see. There's a big pan that we have and we put water in there. We preheated the oven to 375 and she's gonna just place it. She can pull it out a little bit. Great offering at home. No. She's going to place it in. And you can bake it for about an hour. Check when you, you can try inserting a, a butter knife in the middle and when it comes out clean in about an hour, you're ready to go. You're good to go. Then you can uh, refrigerate it for overnight. I would do refrigeration overnight, Madonna? Yes, uh, today for tomorrow. Yes, for tomorrow. It's so you overnight it because it's a custard and you want it to cool, completely chill and kind of firm up a bit. And then you can tilt it out. We'll show you now how do we do that. This is what it looks like when it's completely done. I don't know if you can see it that well there. See, there's, you can see a little bit of the sugar pooling on the bottom. That's the brown sugar that we melted. Whoops. Oops. It becomes a okay. liquid. Then we have a plate. You want to hold this? Yeah. Or how right. do we do this? You want to do that? I should say that the Ban Marie, usually she'll put everything in the oven all at once. So she doesn't usually preheat the oven. She will put, no, I see no baby. I see she will fill that pan up halfway with water put her flan in there, turn that oven on to 375 and leave it in there for about an hour. And when that fork or that knife comes out clean, your flan is done. So now we have plate on top, flan on the bottom, we flip. And here, pull it up. Ready? Let's see what it looks like. Go ahead. Ooh, there you go. Ta-da. Then you can scrape some of that sugar. No, As you can I see. Because yeah. of course. You can't waste any You can't any waste of a thing. Oops. Oops. With all that nice syrupy Caramelized, goodness yes. all over your flan. Yeah. Mom says everyone loves the, the sauce. sauce. <laughs> so you want to show that close up, see what it looks like there. Okay. Yum. Show your show the flan and then we can cut a piece and we can try. You wanna show it? Let's go ahead. Yeah. You want to show it? Okay, here we go. There it is. It's beautiful. As you can see, we put it in a dish where the sides come up so that the uh, sauce doesn't leak everywhere. And it's a beautiful dish. Let me go ahead and turn the camera so you guys can see that. As William cuts this is what it looks pieces like. for us to eat. Sauce and spoon it on. Here, I'm gonna try it. There you go. Here's a piece for you, darling. We should say that one of our favorite Thanksgiving traditions is uh, right before the meal, we go around and we each say one thing that we're thankful for. So. This year, I just want to say I'm really thankful for our church community and our spiritual community. What are you thankful for, William? I am thankful for my family. Mm. And you, Vega? I'm thankful for my friends. Mm. Catalina, what are you thankful for? Thank you for coming to the United States. She's uh, grateful for coming over to the United States. And, and come back to Cuba. It's 
17 years later for seeing my mother and my father. My father. Yes, she was able to go back 17 years later and see her family, her mom and dad. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm.